Reporting to you live here from Hamilton, from Justin and Kennedy's Halloween party. It's live for last week. Episode 201. Let's go! Welcome here, my fellow True Walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So even with sleeping a single hour post-shift yesterday, this morning I woke up on less than five hours of sleep. Really, really early to Uber drive this international traveler to Pearson Airport taking the wife to Terminal 1 at YYZ to catch a flight to Chicago to watch one of her favorite K-pop groups perform Bye. Okay <clears throat> Bye wife Enjoy your Chicago trip 24 hour Chicago trip to see 17 Woo, Said the name 17 <laughs> Next, going back home to try to catch up on some sleep, getting a couple of naps in. I edited video at the condo all day long. Before going to the school gym that I haven't been to since pre-pandemic. To help sub in for my friend Elena's Indoor Fours Volleyball Team. At the local Blythewood Junior. And after we were done playing this evening, I received a notice going back to this scene from a previous Laugh From Last Week episode a couple weeks back. This morning, I went to the local post office to package up these Green Bay Packers patches to my fellow Packers fan, Yuli, sending it to him in hopes that he will open it before next weekend. That my buddy Yuli received that special gift for him in the mail. Go Packers, baby! Anyways, before we wrap up the night, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my coworkers who is a world traveler and who I miss taking in person PACU report from. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Debbie. Happy birthday, Debbie. We next got a birthday shout out to a friend of mine who I remember going to steamer parties with during our days at Neil Wysick. This birthday shout out goes out to you Yvonne. Happy birthday Yvonne. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to a special dear friend of ours who you guys remember this time last year we celebrated a surprise birthday greeting to him in Niagara Falls. This birthday shout out goes out to you Paul. Happy birthday Santos. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After having only three and a half hours of quality sleep last night, getting up really, really early once again, I put into my car my golf clubs as well as those mini winter tires that I bought on Facebook marketplace a while back taking them with me to the cell phone area at yyz chilling here for a little bit before the sunrise editing some live from last week footage while in the mini cooper waiting for the wife's flight to come home after her less than 24 hour trip to chicago then, trying to surprise her at the arrivals area, I chased her around this pillar here as we both tried to surprise each other at the same time. <laughs> Dummy. 
<laughs> Hello. 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 Welcome back. Can you see me? Yeah. <laughs> I was like third any song. <laughs> How was your concert? Okay. I do nice. It was really good. She has no voice left. Can I do? Oh. That means you didn't you I didn't did. <laughs> you didn't party hard I enough. <laughs> Then heading straight to my parents' place to change into these mechanics overalls. I said hi to Tita Mone making her patented muffins. Then when twinning with Tito Eddie in the same outfits. To do something that I haven't experienced as a skill in a long time. Getting our car mechanic skills on with some assistance and teaching on how to change the tires on the Mini from its summers to its winters. But guys, unfortunately, while trying to fit on the right side front tire, we got frustrated after an hour of trying to have it fit, as the tire just wouldn't mount on properly. Since the inner radius of the tire's rims were too small to fit around the tire's brake calipers. So, after putting back the original tires that we had initially taken off, it was now time to help Tito Eddie change his summer tires to his winter tires. Having me continue to practice my car mechanic skills and spend some quality father and son time with my dad. The next in the evening, coming here for the second time this year, Tito Eddie and I went to the local Harmony Creek Golf Club to hit a bucket of golf balls. There you go, not too high. Practice on my form a little bit. And of course, get some coaching from Tito Eddie on how to improve my golf game. Try to make it lower your club. Lower? Big? Yeah. That's how you do it. Then with the sun beautifully setting in the background of this golf course, I took some time to practice my putting game. Doing this solo and making this nice clinical non-edited video right here. Anyways, back at the condo here in Scarborough after a very busy, busy day. I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I remember was quite the talented piano player when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Leah. Happy birthday, Leah. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So with the physical activity that I had all day yesterday, I was able to pass out at a sheer exhaustion for about seven hours of decent sleep before pretty much spending the whole day trying to finish up editing my live from last week episode 200 milestone episode for tomorrow mornings Friday release. But anyways, before I go downtown this evening to work one single night shift tonight, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends at the beach who I've been greatly impressed with the beach volleyball skills he's developed over the years. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Adam. Happy birthday, Adam. 
I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So coming off a less stressful night shift, working with a new orientee, this morning I was jamming out to loud music in the mini, opening up all the windows, including the sunroof on this nice autumn day, being able to see my breath, enjoying this crisp cold in the early morning. Then after going shopping for some ingredients, for breakfast, we had this quality meal made up by the wife for me to enjoy post night shift. Next, after getting three hours of post shift sleep, I started the process of returning the Mini Cooper winter tires back into the locker. Then broke out that mini Mini Cooper car that had some steering problems, as you guys can see here. Next, after flipping the car over and trying to troubleshoot this issue, I saw that the steering connection was a little bit misaligned and used my trusty screwdriver to remove the cover and realign the connection and have this baby be able to steer the front wheels once again. I then recalled one of the several reasons why I bought this car. Trying to fit in it and placing it around my thighs because it just wouldn't go up any higher. And pretend to drive this mini mini making it into a prop for a Halloween costume that I had in mind. So recalling this announcement that I made on a previous Laugh From Last Week episode, I then made a stop over at Liberty Village to do a quick Facebook Marketplace pickup. Well, today was the first time I tried to put that Talladega Knight Terrier Jean Girard race suit on. Then started to test drive the Mini Mini in the kitchen with my new Halloween costume. But guys, since I almost got into an accident here... <laughs> I had decided to put on some racing safety gear on... Wearing my balaclava and helmet and re-attempting my test drive with the Mini Mini and my Halloween costume for 2024. But anyways guys, tonight I'm just gonna take it easy. Catching the action of Game 1 of the 2024 World Series between the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Dodgers. In what's gonna be one of the best and most exciting World Series that will ever be played. So last night after catching an exciting Game 1 of the 2024 World Series, I was so exhausted that in extra innings, I actually passed out on the couch. Waking up after a 4 hour nap at the early hour of 4 AM to see highlights of the Dodgers with two outs in the bottom of the 10th inning with the bases loaded, may I add, having this walk-off grand slam by Canadian Freddie Freeman, historically being the first ever walk-off grand slam in MLB World Series history. Then, since I was awake for a little bit, I decided to do several household chores while I was up and made breakfast for the wife to come home to after her night shift. But anyways, before we go on to the events of the day, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my FGAR friends that I know from back in our university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michelle. Happy birthday, Michelle. 
Next up, I got a birthday greeting to one of my friends that I made going on a Euro trip with them for World Youth Day 2011. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Pinder. Happy birthday, Pinder. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers with whom I've attended work parties with and who I've mini carpooled with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bea. Happy birthday, Bea. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, guys, recalling what we did a couple years back during the exact same Halloween weekend. Tonight, we're off to Hamilton to reunite with some long lost friends. Going once again with the cousin Louie to check out my friends Justin and Kennedy's Halloween party of 2024. <laughs> With an amazing time that we had at Justin and Kennedy's Halloween party last night, where my buddy Keenan realized and remembered me from video vlogging in the past. Werewolf, Ooh. no? You're the video guy. Yeah. You're the YouTube guy. I love that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> as well as great times reuniting with my former co workers, Indy and Kennedy. I got back to the condo, Uber carpooling with the cousin Lou to pass out late to sleep for about four hours or so before this reenactment of me passing out in my costume and waking up half awake to make yet another breakfast for the wife who is coming off her night shift. Now afterwards getting my full faced helmet on and driving the mini like a race car driver just like I did when I made that Facebook Marketplace purchase with the Red Bull race suit. I headed down this afternoon to Woodbine Beach to play some beach volleyball. Thinking that everybody else would dress up for the Halloween season as well. But seeing that everybody else was dressed up as beach volleyball athletes as their costume. Just like I did for Halloween in different years past. I still represented with the difficult task of playing beach volleyball with my race car driver costume on. And guys, recalling this birthday greeting that I actually did a couple weeks back. We too got a birthday shout out to one of my coworkers out there who I have yet to capture a beach volleyball video with them to this day. Well, today was actually the first time I was able to play beach volleyball alongside the co-worker, Christina. Now, while we're still on the topic of birthdays, we'll do a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends going back to our HT days and reuniting back when we were both living at Neo Wysick. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ashley. Happy birthday, Ash. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I remember teaching me a little bit of break dancing when we were younger. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Andrew. Happy birthday, Andrew.
And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends who, you guys remember, I last ran into during one of my ski trips to Blue Mountain a couple years back. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rose. Happy birthday, Rose. I'm hoping that at this time, everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But anyways, moving on while we're still on the topic of the beach. After taking this nice picture of all the beach volleyball athletes in costume earlier this afternoon, I headed to Sunday afternoon Roman Catholic Mass at the local Canadian Martyrs Parish in East York. Before just editing live from last week videos, this evening while taking it easy after a busy and fun eventful weekend. So this morning after getting a good sleep but waking up early once again at around 6 a.m. I got to work on some live from last week footage before the sunrise until the sun was above the horizon and started once again for the third day in a row to make this beautiful breakfast for the wife to come home to this morning after a busy night shift. Then this afternoon, after seeing that she was busy taking video calls for potential weddings that she'll coordinate in the future, I broke out my golf clubs once again this evening going to a place that I haven't been to in a while. Ending up here at the Markham Golf Dome indoor slash outdoor range to once again hit up a bucket of golf balls. Trying to work on my form a little bit. Then headed here to the putting green to practice my short game. Taking numerous putts, missing the hole until I eventually made one from quite a distance. Anyways guys, before the sun goes down, I'm going to quickly get back to my much needed putting practice and wrap up this week's Laugh From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Gia Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week. Thank you.